Jim. I'm the owner of a gun shop in Harrington, Maine called The Gun Works. Today's video we're going to discuss proper cleaning techniques for uh, rifles. The reason I'm covering this is because a lot of the items that I get in my shop happen to be firearms that have been improperly cleaned. Right here you see in my hands are barrel stubs. What I have to do is sometimes when I get a customer comes in they complain about how bad their accuracy is. Gee, my rifle used to shoot really accurate. I don't know what happened to it. All of a sudden, I can't even get a decent group at 50 yards with it. Well, generally, I take a look down the muzzle of it, and I find out that it's been improperly cleaned. If you don't use the proper cleaning tools, you end up scouring the end of the muzzle out, and you ruin the rifling and shoot the accuracy right out the window. So what we're going to discuss, we're going to cover going over uh, cleaning on this particular rifle here is a Remington Model 770. And I'm going to show you a couple little tips and tricks that I think is going to benefit your uh, rifle cleaning. So, what I'm going to discuss first is the fact that you don't want to go down to Walmart and buy those nice little sectional aluminum cleaning rods. I know they're pretty cheap, but something you've got to keep in mind is this. Aluminum is a pretty soft metal, right? Anytime that your aluminum rod picks up any sort of grit, dirt, trash, or dust, it gets embedded in that rod. Next thing you know, that rod going down the bore, you might as well shove an abrasive stone down in there because you're definitely going to scrub the rifle out of the muzzle area. So what I want to discuss first is a couple of different things that I like to use. These are called bore snakes. There's different kinds of models made. All it is is basically a nice little weighted tip. You drop that weighted tip down the breech end. When you pull it through, you got a little bit of a built-in bronze brush right here on this end all that nice cleaning patch in. And it's pretty decent if you're down at the range or if you're out in the woods and you just want something to carry in your pocket. Let me show you how that works. Very simple, you just take your rifle, take your weighted tip, stick, take the bolt out of the gun or open the action, and just feed that in. And then just simply pull it through. That's pretty good right there for getting just relatively light garbage and trash out of the gun. Another type of cleaning gear that I'd like to show you today that I like to use here in the shop is another type of pull through. And I use these quite a bit. These are made by a company called Otis. And no, before I show you these products, I don't get any kickback from the company for telling you what these are. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. This is stuff that I use myself in my own rifles. This is a Otis's Deluxe Kit, and what you have is a series of uh, different lengths of braided steel with plastic coating on them. There's a little bottle of oil. Now what these are, like I said, they're braided steel cable with a plastic coating on them, and the ends are uh, brass, and you have a little brass threaded uh, tips that go in to hold patches. Now this thing, you get the deluxe kit, it covers rifles, shotguns, and pistols. I just screwed the end right there on, it's got a little slotted head to pull patches through. And if you want to use a really tight patch, the other end, you screw this little adapter on. Oops, if I can hold on to it. Same principle here. Now you have a nice little slotted tip that takes a little brass T-handle. And this is going to work similar to the bull, the boar snake. What you'll do is you'll just thread this tip all the way through. Once it comes up the muzzle, put your little T-slot in it. Put your brass brush or your patch on there. Give it a little pull through. And it works out pretty good for cleaning. Let me set these off to the side. Now, these boar snakes come in different calibers. The Otis kit right there has different size pull-throughs, different size brushes, different size patch jags. Now we're going to start talking about cleaning the bore with a hardened rod. As I already mentioned before, if you use anything like an aluminum or even a soft brass rod, and you're swabbing back and forth and you're scrubbing back and forth, you're going to ruin the accuracy of your rifle. What I like to use are these little dewy coated rods. It's a nice steel rod with a heavy, thick coating on it that will protect your bore from being scratched up by the metal. 
Some of the other rods I've got here are some homemade ones that I have. Nice big fat deer, deer antler on the end of it for a handle. These are for heavy duty cleaning. All it is is a heavy steel rod that's been drilled and tapped on the end so I can screw brushes into the end of it. The other ones that you'll see are going to be steel rods that are uncoated. In fact, this is one of the ones here that I mentioned to you not to use. Notice it's a nice little threaded aluminum rod. These are the ones you generally want to stay away from. I know Walmart and other places sell them for pretty cheap. That one seems to be a little stuck. Well, at any rate, stay away from these if you can avoid them. Now, for those of you who are uh, shooting every once in a while and you're hunting, you can get away with that for a while, but if you're going to shoot on a regular basis, I really recommend you don't use those. Now, moving back to this. In this case right here, since you have a bolt action rifle, you can remove the bolt and you can clean it from the breech end. What you'll do is you can slide this in from this opposite side right here, go all the way up to the muzzle, then thread your uh, jag. You can thread your little slotted patch piece on there or your brush and pull it back. Now, what they do is different rifles have different little fixtures that go in here and lock in place of the bolt, and it acts as a guide rod in the back. I don't use those. There's nothing wrong with them, but I've run into so many different models and makes of rifles that I'd probably have a small fortune tied up in getting those little uh, adapters. So what I do is I clean from the muzzle end on a lot of these guns. But what I do is I take an empty brass cartridge and I cut it in half and I make this nice little muzzle guard. That simply slides right up on the end. I put my little uh, patch jack to push a patch through it. Then when I go into the muzzle, I run out of space because of the wall. There we go. When I go into the muzzle, I stick that little brass case up in there and that protects the muzzle. You see, I'm holding it in place. Push in one direction only, or better yet, better yet, push the empty rod all the way down in, and then come to the breech part of the gun, screw your uh, brush on there, and then holding your uh, muzzle protector in place, pull the rod out. It's best if you want to try cleaning this rifle in the direction that the bullet's going because that's where your copper fouling is going to end up being. There's a few products that you could use if you uh, have really heavy fouling. There's a JB uh, butter. It's like a little gray paste that has an abrasive in it, mild abrasive. That's great for removing lead. But by and large, for the most part, all I use is a synthetic gun oil and a synthetic gun scrubber. I'm not going to recommend any one brand particularly over top of another. These happen to be Mark Winchester. Uh, Hoppy's number nine is a really good copper solvent. Butch's Borshine. I mean, there's a lot of really good products out there. But this is going to be a short video on basically how to clean the bore of your rifle so you can prevent trips like this to your gunsmith. Now, I didn't cover a lot of stuff that, you know, about cleaning the internal parts, about what kind of brushes to use. We'll discuss that in a later video. One product that I am going to recommend, and I, I really do wish I did get a kickback from this company, but I've used this stuff for years. If you've got heavy copper uh, fouling in your bore, Sweet 7.62 Bore Solvent is absolutely the best thing I have ever used as far as getting heavy copper deposits out of your rifle. If you're having lousy accuracy, I'm going to recommend you use this stuff. Now, I am going to give you a word of warning. This has got a high concentration of ammonia in it. It smells like, oh, it's awful. It's also pretty poisonous, so you've got to be careful using this stuff. One more little uh, caveat or warning, if you want to say. Do not leave this wet solvent in your rifle bore more than about 10 minutes because it will actually start etching the metal. What you're going to do is when you punch your wet patch down the bore soaked in this bore solvent, the first couple times you're going to punch that through there, it's going to come out in the, per the rag or the patch is going to be an ugly, dark, purpley blue color. That's the copper being dissolved. You want to continue running a dry patch through there until you get most of that solvent out, and then make sure you run a heavy oily patch in behind that. You want to get rid of all traces of this copper solvent. But Sweet 7.62, I've been using it for years. I've had some stuff come in the gun shop that was just so gunked full of copper that it looked like a smooth bore musket. This stuff will remove it pretty well. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. 
Down East Gun Works is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or calling the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.